Today, Red Hill General Store is deep inside the Blue Ridge at the cabin of Gray and Cindy World and the Marshall family. The cabin is an off-grid cabin built probably approximately 150, maybe even 200 years ago. I'll have to find out for sure, but it's never had electricity, and they would like some basic lights. So a couple weeks ago, uh, we just completed a complete water turbine system to, to provide the cabin electricity, and we were hoping for couple hundred watts that's what we're producing now and I'm on my way to the top to check the intake screens and to take and to check the water intake in the pipes if you'd like to come along let's go this is where it all begins 550 feet downstream is where we have the water turbine setting um, this is uh, the water intake we channeled all the stream into one box it's covered with a screen and then the PVC pipe picks up the water from here. Uh, the way it's designed, as leaves should come across or any type of debris, then it's just washed over the side. And we've been checking it about once a week, and uh, then we clean it out. So we need to do a little bit, to, maybe we can get that up to every couple weeks or something, with just a little bit better design on the water intake. But so far, it's been working great. Let's uh, head down the uh, slope, and uh, we'll check on the water turbine. In this section of the pipeline, we had to raise the pipeline because we wanted to get out of the creek bed so we could have a straighter shot into the uh, turbine at the bottom of the hill. So here we have raised the pipeline and we are doing this because this is not a winterized system. Uh, if you wanted one to run 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year, you would have to put this in a ditch. But here we chose, in this area, uh, we're, we're thinking maybe two to three months the turbine will be shut down. They don't use the cabin during those months. So instead of making it uh, freeze-proof, we're running it above ground. And by doing that, it gives us a lot more options to keep our head and uh, keep the zigzags with running with the creek at a minimum, which is increases our head because uh, we don't have as much friction in each turn. But the cost effectiveness of being above ground probably outweighs the cost of what it would cost to put it in the ground and then the extra electricity two to three months a year. So this is uh, just an example of how we had to raise the pipeline to get it up over the next obstacle to run it straight to the turbine. Let's go on down to the turbine. We've made it down the hill uh, 500 feet from the top uh, and it's a real hot, humid day. As you can see, my glasses are starting to fog up and it's pretty warm. But uh, coming down the pipeline, everything looked good, so we're going to turn the turbine on. Uh, we're going to turn the first nozzle on, and it, it's a 9 16 inch nozzle, so you can hear it when it cuts on, and then the motor will spin up, and then I'll cut the uh, smaller nozzle on. Uh, this, we're just temporarily set up here. The uh, homeowner is building a uh, power shed to uh, put the turbine in and put all the equipment in, but it's currently under construction, so we're setting up here and getting all the bugs and everything, all the, anything that we needed to adjust, and then we'll move it over to the uh, permanent structure. But I'll go ahead and turn the water on. You probably won't be able to hear me talk after this, so I'll just let turn this one on. This is a 9 16 inch uh, nozzle, and you'll hear it spin up. And now I'm going to turn off the smaller nozzle. we're producing electricity. I can give you a... Uh, here's a close-up of what the inside of the turbine actually looks like. There's a blue turgo runner that we're spraying water on from with the 9 16 inch nozzle that you can see. And I'm going to cut that on really slowly so you can sort of see how this works. If I can get it to cut on, there we go. It's not turning, but you can see how the nozzle, the water is deflected in 180 degrees from the nozzle position, a little bit more, try not to uh, ground the camera person, but there we go, just as I give it a little bit more, then it's going to spin up, you can see it starts spinning there, and the more water I put in, the more it spins, and here we go, full throttle. I 
just wanted to give you a quick look at the cabin that we're uh, putting electricity to. Uh, this is a weekend hunting cabin, uh, family reunions, the family comes down and enjoys it quite often and they just wanted some type of electricity to supply lighting uh, to save on propane and it would be safer. So uh, if you'll come with me we'll walk around the uh, side of the cabin where we have the power coming into the house and as you'll notice as we're going along uh, all the power cables are buried. We're lucky in this installation that the water turbine was close enough to the house that we just upped the uh, cab uh, cable size that we didn't have to put the uh, battery and converter close to the turbine. But we, it costs just a little bit more, but it's more convenient to have the control center on the house. So we'll go this way. Now we're behind the cabin and this is the power control center for the turbine. I'll give you a quick uh, overview of what each thing does. From, here's an AC to DC rectifier. From here we have three phase electricity, AC. I know it uh, sounds sort of strange, but it flows in and it's converted from alternating current to direct current, AC to DC. Then once it goes into here we go to our disconnect, uh, which we have another one on the turbine, and then we, it goes to our charge controller. And from the charge controller, uh, then the charge controller supplies the batteries, the amount of charge they need, and regulate the charge. And then this is just a uh, 1500 watt inverter, and that supplies the power to the cabin. And as you can see, we're running electricity as we speak. Uh, these two fluorescent lights that we're running here could probably run continuous. Uh, they don't consume all of the electricity uh, here. Some of the electricity actually has to be burned off because our batteries are full and we don't use the cabin um, as often and the batteries are not pulled down so we burn some of the electricity off in our uh, dump load here which goes to an uh, electric heater. Um, this is just a quick overview. If you have any questions, make sure you uh, remember, give us a call at Red Hill General Store. If you have renewable energy questions or you have a renewable energy project in mind and would like assistance, or would just like to talk, give us a call. You have a good day, and we'll talk to you next time. This is Tom with Red Hill General Store.